This is your mastery coach, Kettlebell Lady of Iron. I've had a lot of requests for push-up variations. Your push-up is one of your fundamental moves that I score, and it's surprising most cannot do a standard push-up. So we're going to start out with a variation called a wall push-up and our pec muscles are a fan-shaped muscle so it's important to use that muscle in a variety of different moves. This is primary an upper body move but your whole body's involved and you need to keep those shoulders locked in the sockets. We don't want those shoulders up to your elbows. Take some real deep breaths and you can see I can get real close to a wall I'm using the fence, but you can be outside, inside. This can be done as a body weight exercise. And there's a lot of different variations. And if we do not know how to get up off a floor, a push up is a very essential move so you can stay safe and enjoy whatever you're doing. And you can see you can do it one leg, one arm, Use your imagination. You can do this when you're in a park, in your office, and you can get up to a chair, a wall, your desk, a countertop. It doesn't really make any difference. Just use the time you have to get in the best shape of your life. And now we're going to do another variation. Once you have the wall push shut down, then you lower yourself to, like I just said, a countertop or some other weight. Lawn chair. Or even a lawn chair. What is important is you keep moving, move often, and you're going to get even more fit as time goes on. And enjoy what you're doing. The next variation is when you're on your knees. I have garden kneeling pads, but you can use pillows, and this gives you another variation, and be sure to keep that core tight. It will work your abs, and you keep those knees bent, and you can put one arm up or the other if you need it to be a little more challenging, but the main part is keep that back flat and look ahead, Don't, no shoulder shrugs, and breathe really, really deep. And you are inhaling, exhaling at the top, and pushing your weight of those arms back down into those sockets. And you can see how much stronger that you're getting over a period of time. Now it's important, this is a real slow move. You work those muscles isometrically. And it's important to take the deep breaths, as I mentioned before, and you move really slow and concise. And then you can see how you can get yourself up off a floor. Now this is in a progression. Once you have these three basics down, then you go to a high to a low plank. And this is what you learn to do before a full push-up. And the top of the plank is the position that you need for your kettlebell swing. And this is a very advanced move and you need to keep that core strong and back flat. You don't want to be swaying the back down or humping the back up. And you move from side to side, from elbow up to the top with your hands. And you can see that that was very challenging. And then I'm coming up into a lunge. Give these a try and let me know how they work for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.